This is Alan Bush with the Daily Financial Forecast for Tuesday, May 1st. Starting out with the stock index futures, seeing some pressure developing with one major economic report coming in a bit on the weak side. That's the ISM manufacturing number. Uh, so some pressure developing there. Also, we do have the Fed meeting today and tomorrow. Even though there is a very limited chance that the Fed will raise rates at the conclusion of this two-day meeting, there is some apprehension in the indices uh, in advance of uh, that statement tomorrow at 1 o'clock Central Time. So I think once the meeting is out of the way and we do get the statement from the Fed tomorrow, that stock index futures can work higher. But until then, we may see some uh, pressure remaining in the indices. Moving over to the currencies, the dollar index now finally higher on the year with today's gains. Much of this linked to ideas that U.S. interest rates will continue to advance. Also seeing the pound lower after several economic reports coming in weaker than expected, including borrowing and some manufacturing numbers. And the Canadian dollar a bit weaker, even though Canadian GDP coming in up 0.4% against the guess of up 0.3%. And the Australian dollar also a little bit weaker with the Reserve Bank of Australia keeping rates unchanged at 1.5% as expected. Interest rate markets a little bit lower. Uh, this in advance of the uh, Fed meeting and the limited possibility of, of a rate hike tomorrow. However, there is almost a 100% chance that the Fed will raise at the June meeting. Also, I believe that there will only be two more rate hikes this year from the Fed for a total of three, although more and more analysts now looking for a total of four. I'm going to have to stick with my original uh, idea that only three rate hikes this year from the Fed. So good trading, everyone. And once again, remember, these are my opinions alone and are not the opinions of ADMIS or Archer Daniels Midland.